All right, guys, we finally made it. We're here. here guys see what all we can check out so throw mulch in it slide down and the conveyor takes it up to the pick wheel and puts it inside the airlock and come down the other end at the other end yep um, it's a 35 horsepower diesel Yamar. Uh, the hose reel there's a hundred foot hose on it plus it comes with a 50 foot so you can blow 150 feet the mulch away from the unit. Yeah, did you see this? All right. And what's the price on one of these machines? Uh, you're you're from Paducah. I'm from Kentucky. Yeah, Paducah, okay, so Kentucky. yeah, yeah. Um, you're gonna be high 80s. Mm. But without probably save you on those guys that can't help you. <laughs> save you on the guys can help you. Um, you don't have to pay overtime. You don't have to insurance you don't have to pay another employee you know thirty dollars an hour yeah you know you can this thing here the the more it runs the cheaper it gets for you yeah pay for itself yeah wow and you're gonna get probably 10 to 15 yards an hour a mulch I think I got to do that. No, yep okay So the hose reel is free spool. You just flip this up and you can unroll it and roll it back up. Oh man. Um, this is the airlock. So basically your mulch comes back, drops in there, and the air pushes it out. Yeah, this is for you guys, those big commercial jobs, man. Right here I had one I had to turn down this year. Didn't have enough help. Sure could have used one of these, but <laughs> 80 grand, <laughs> man. Woo. Pay for itself though. Yeah. We also outside we have an MBH or MBH, MBH six a six yard. Oh, okay. So, but you can control the, this unit from behind the house. Oh man! Turning your speed up, your floor, shutting it off. It's the feed BB three hundred two interior blower. Kind of a good beginner thing, you know. Not entry level, but it's a good for the small operator that needs, you know, some heavy duty type operation, sometime lifting, um, you know, heavier duty implements. You know, you have some different options. Of course, you got the trencher, you got the poster digger, they have some uh, post driving attachments as well. Of course, you got the loader. Um, so, you got several different attachments that, you know, that go with it. It's portable, it's real loadable. It comes with a choice of a Honda or a Kubota. Okay. Um, a power plant, whether you want gas or diesel. So, I like Honda. Yeah, so you know you got that. That's in the. And you get gas or diesel? Or? Yes, on the six oh, and the seven. Yeah. So protected tanks, really easy controls. Check out some of these controls. Tango guys. Something I can see Ray Ray using right here. This thing is nice. You got attachments to it. Yes, <laughs> do you guys do? Absolutely. How long do you guys have to graduate? Uh, well, in our Oh, you're almost there. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. So, you guys, uh, are you trying to get some stuff with some jobs? This is Kango, guys. More guys, the Dixie Chopper. What's that engine right there? Vanguard. 28 horse Vanguard. Oh man. 28 horsepower Vanguard. 
like I said, most 55 degree incline, it'll mow down to point nine, uh, yeah, almost an inch, little old, less than an inch, little up to five inches. What right. I was looking at, 4.9 inches. Dams and hills, here you go. What's the name of this thing? This is the Talon. Talon, guys. Talon RC. Yes, sir. We're also coming out the Talon MC now as well. Okay. And that's the Talon MC right there. Yes, sir. Look at this thing. Remote control board. That's where we're going. It's future, baby. This is a prototype Dixie Chopper electrical. Oh, no, no, you're all right, man. And there you'll find everything you need. Like four Giottos, man. That looks amazing. That's great. My ego guy. How you doing? Good. Who you with? Boneyard Line Service 2 Talent. Ah, got it. Yeah, man, my bad for making <laughs> so you got one that goes up to two acres to cut two acres. Absolutely, yep. I pulled this one from cutting about two of those, three of those a day. Well, it was six batteries, six of the 12 amp hour batteries, and we got about four acres. Okay. Uh, okay, I see it now. Four yep. acres runtime, fellas. They got the digital badge. That thing right there. this up. Make room. Latch right here. Take the back off and get right to everything, guys. This is a really nice serviceable feature. You've got full access to everything. Makes everything so simple. Load up to three Optima C's into a 20 foot trailer. An Optima C is built to last. It has a seven gauge, laser cut, robotically welded, and assembled steel deck, heavy duty I V front end, and super heavy duty chassis. I know what many of you are asking. What about the bottom line of my business? Yes, the sticker price is slightly higher than the current gas. That is a mobile charging station. Look at it. need when they need them. It's how is this going to change your business? Well picture this. Your crew show up in the morning before they have to get ready for the day, loading up the trailer, making sure the batteries are charged, and that all the equipment is ready to go. Taking pressure. Oh, oh. 
routing, invoicing, all that good stuff. Got an app, you got a mobile app and everything. You can do your invoicing so even on a free. So it work on iOS? It sure does. Okay, because I, I run iOS and it stops me with Yardbook. That's the only thing. Really? It keeps me from using Yardbook. Oh. I have an iPhone and, and I can't they don't have an iOS. app? Oh. They have it on Android. But not iOS? No iOS. Well, that's a letdown. Yeah, we're both Android and iOS. Absolutely. 100%. Over those so, is it off remote control or does it like GPS? So there is crash? there is an app and there also is a remote that you can use, but that that's mostly just to get it on and off the trailer. Okay. Around, yeah. But yeah, it's fully autonomous, so there's no. Just started. Sit back in the truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is so mad, man. Yeah. This is exact. Yeah, so uh, I was a landscaper for 12 years working for uh, Parks District, and I had my own landscaping business on the side, and so doing a lot of what you're doing, and I know those struggles of being a small business and having to work hard for every inch of it. you got to work hard for every inch of what you earn, but there's something about that hard work, honest work. At the end of the day, you go home, when your head hits the pillow, you got a smile on your face, but you do it right, you can just keep growing, and you can keep uh, helping people out. And there's something about, like you were saying to me, being outdoors, loving being outdoors, and uh, making places beautiful, because that's really what it is. You know, you're making the world a better place, and you're making these green spaces beautiful for everyone to enjoy. And so there's more than just getting paid to get something done, you know, or more than something to just have your business slowly growing. It's about uh, putting something back into the world, putting something back into your community. And then as you continue to grow, yeah, you put on more crews, you give more people more opportunities that maybe, you know, I know that uh, I got lucky with my job getting to work for the parks because I was a little hoodlum. I had a mohawk, you know, and it was, uh, you know, I was a tough kid, or at least I thought it was. But uh, I got an opportunity to work for a park, and it straightened me out and put me on the straight and narrow, and it gave me a good opportunity. And then I passed that forward when I became the boss over there. I got an opportunity to hire other guys on and give them opportunities that maybe I, I was lucky to have. So, I mean, you got a good thing going for you, man. And I, mean, I, I want to see some of these moors get going on, man. <laughs> Let's do it. So what we got right behind us here is the Gravely Pro Turn 660. This is one of our big bad boys. So this comes in a 72-inch deck, a 60-inch deck, or a 52-inch deck. And what you see on it right now is the clamshell. So the operator never has to leave the seat to dump. You basically just flip that open, it unlocks, and you can dump it from it. So it increases your uptime, locking into place. Well, the other thing too is sometimes with these big heavy decks, the big 72 inch or 60 inch decks, they're really heavy. Put a blower on that, it's even heavier. So what you have here is an electric deck lift system. Basically a flip of a switch raises or lowers it to the correct cutting line. So you have that opportunity to no more having to struggle with the big heavy pedal. With this uh, powered blower system, you're going to take all the grass that's in here and it's going to help it up into the chute. So it's going to have the best opportunity to feed and uh, you're not going to clog as much. If it does clog, just pull this band right here. It's easily accessible and you can easily pull it out. If I need to pull this blower, it takes me about two, three minutes. You're basically going to remove this cover. There's an easy uh, spring-loaded latch system. Pull the belt and then we swing this away and we can pull the blower away. So if you need to maintenance it or you want to remove it, um, it's quick and easy to do. But then, 
It also has the Kawasaki F uh, FX1000 EFI. It's a 38 and a half. A lot of them. Yeah, 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 a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, 38 and a half. That's right. That's right. All I run is Kawasaki. Everyone on my board, Kawasaki, Kawasaki, Kawasaki. That's how I was when I was playing. That's how I was when I was playing. And all these covers are toolless as well, so you don't have to have a tool to get these off of there. You can simply pull them on, push it back on. It, it's a little more to invest in, but then in, on the back end, it saves your money. It's the brave, the battery is kind of fast over here. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Four batteries right there. Yeah, Bob, you know, let your dick hurt. Yeah. That's what they sound like. So, like, when you go to change it, you can see it's got removable batteries. So, you can have all day running time as long as you invest in the batteries to have on your trailer. So have them all charged up. How much is one of those batteries? Uh, each one's going to be about two thousand dollars. But remember, you're not paying for gas ever again. You're not paying for oil changes ever again. You're not paying for blade, uh, belts anymore. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that come away from it. You don't have to worry about those maintenance items quite as much anymore. This thing is nice, guys. Switch the deck height over here. Sixteen inch. It does have regenerative braking as well, so when the machine slows down, it takes some of that power and puts it back into the batteries as well. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like self-charging. Yep. I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's not going to keep it running for you all day, but it yeah, is going to it's, it's give you a little bit it's of like charge say back. It knows how to save the energy when it needs to. Yes. Yeah. So the frames and the decks on these are from the regular Gravely Pro stances. So they're already tried and true. We know that those hold up in the field. They do a great job. What we did was we electrified the platform. But the biggest difference is, is that we own the drive system, we own the blade systems, and we own the uh, battery technology as well. So we own the three principal components to make it an electric machine. And what I mean by own by that is that we own all the intellectual property, we designed them, we developed them, we tested them, we put them through the rigorous testing that we needed to see. One of the biggest things that's going to be different about the X3 spindles is that they have a limited slip differential in them meaning it's not a direct drive spindle. Some of the other electric spindles, when they hit an object, they have the opportunity to break that spindle and then you have to replace it. With these, what happens is the blade goes and it strikes an object and it allows the blade to slip. It immediately sends a signal to shut down uh, power to the blades, so it eliminates a lot of damage. It means that it's not gonna damage the spindle. You don't have to replace the spindle every time you hit a big object. I mean, you're a landscaper, how many times you hit something in the field? You know? We got a video where I tore a brick up. Yeah. Thought I was doing good. Boy, I was running a skag. My boy, Luke Landscape. You see it. Six batteries in parallel. 
do you guys do everything in house? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's all our own battery. Yeah. I get, I, I'm about to get my butt kicked. You can get up to 60 minutes of full on trigger time at boost mode, all right? Yeah. And when we talk about boost mode, that's the full Ooh, 25. Max. Yep, exactly. Yeah. But if you are maybe just blowing some clippings or a little dirt, you can run it on a lower power level. And you can even set the cruise control on here for you so you don't have to stay on trigger. Uh, we can pull this down if you want to film yeah. it. Sure. See, that's the complaint with a lot of guys that like the thing so heavy. Yep. Because the backpack, but while I'm looking at this right now, yeah. it doesn't look as heavy as the gas one I got. Yeah. You know it's actually saying? a little heavier, and you can okay. pick it up. Yeah. Because you've got batteries on your back. Oh, okay, guys. Yeah. So it's about, yeah, a little bit of difference. And what you'll see is we put a lot of design into the ergonomics of these harnesses, so when you put it on, it feels much it feels good. So that can be a big difference. It might be heavy, but if it feels good, why you got it? So right in here, we've got a cruise control. So you can turn it on, and then you start to blow, and when you get to the speed you want to be at, you hit it just like you're in a car, and it'll hold on that. You don't have to stay on trigger. You can just move it around. And then as we talked about, there's multiple lever levels. So this is power level one. And that's gonna give you a longer run time than if you go straight into boost full and mode. stay full yeah. mode the entire time. And you really don't need full mode unless you want some crazy leap job. Right, right. If you're just blowing grass clippings and yeah. dirt, it'll get the job done. It'll get the job done. So this is power level, yeah, and then, you know, of course, standard operator presence and use. Yeah. And I you guys for steel, stands by it. Yeah, we stand by it. You guys stand by it, man. I'll tell you, I'll keep my word about it. I'll be in it. No, I'll send you to grab one of the other days. Oh, no, 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 but we are going to make roll bars for it. a year you got to get these people that want to aerate so aerating you're going to want to dig the plugs out of their lawn that way the fertilizer gets down to the roots of the grass so you're going to dig these plugs out you want to go crisscross across their lawn cross hatch that way the uh, fertilizer and the sun and all the nutrients get to the base of the grass and uh, so that's aerating that's what aerating does to the base but before you aerate the best thing to do is this is blueberry gas. Or power rake or dethatching or whatever, you know, different parts of the country call it different things. So what this does is it's a power rake. So under here, these blades, these are called flail blades. What they do is when people cut grass, all that all that 
dead grass lays at the root system of the grass, right? And yards it, right now like that. Right, it just plugs everything up. Nothing gets down to the system and it starts to kill the grass. Kill the grass. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the ground can't get their uh, nutrients. nutrients, they can't, they can't get, the sun doesn't get down in there, seed, uh, fertilizer, nothing. So you can keep laying fertilizer all you want. But if you didn't get down there at the roots how you need to, it's new and no good. Right. So what this does, what you want to do is set this so all it does is scrape like a rake. So instead of you standing there for the entire yard raking, 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 raking with a rake, it would take you, it would take you days to yeah. do it one yard. This is a power rake. So these blades will scrape the lawn, the grass, and bring all that dead grass right to the top. It'll bring it right up as you walk right behind it. It'll bring it right up to the top. All that dead thatch, it's called. Thatch is that, is that dead grass. So it'll bring it right up to the top, right as you walk behind it. It'll bring it right up. And so then when it brings it right to the top, you can, you can then pull all that stuff up, throw it away, or vacuum it up, do whatever you want with it. But that brings all that dead grass up. Now once that dead grass is up, all that nutrients and everything else can get right down. All that fertilizer, everything else can bring that lawn back to life. That lawn will be green again. It'll be, it'll yeah, just grow man, like a crazy. Here, we had a drought this summer. Uh, worst drought in Kentucky history. Well, where I'm at, worst drought in our city history. Everything's brown right now. <laughs> so everything died, right? Everything so, died. So you need, you need to get it all back to life. Yeah. So if you're gonna lay fertilizer, why lay fertilizer down on something that's not going to let the fertilizer go where it's supposed to go, right? Doesn't make sense, does it? Nope. You got to get all that crap up. You got to get all that stuff up first, then lay the fertilizer down. And in the fall, you go back to that aerator and you let those plugs go down. You dig all that up and then you fertilize again. So spring and fall. But then you charge for it. Then you charge for it. You charge, you get money for this. You get money for that. Pays for a sale. That's right. Absolutely. Yes. Bluebird. Yep, absolutely. Okay. We, Stump we switched this to um, four blades on our wheel. Matched it to this huge engine that we have on here. But these, these, see these teeth on here? These are called a Green Teeth 900 Wear Sharp. These teeth on here, we'll call them teeth or we'll call them, yeah, we'll call them teeth. Um, they're usually reserved for this big Vermeer stump grinder. Thing. You see those towable big ones? Yeah. These are called 900 series. Usually so, on a walk behind you have 500 series, right? These are four steps above that. We work with them to pet, that we're the only ones that have series this big. So it makes it like butter when it goes back and forth across the stump. And only four on this huge wheel that we have, right? And you don't have to take these off to sharpen them. As, as it wears, it sharpens itself. You don't have to have a big, big trailer. You don't have to, you just got to yeah. put yeah. it on your trailer. Put trailer ready to go. Right, but it sharpens itself as it wears. Gotcha. Other ones, you got to take the teeth off each time and well, sharpen yeah. them, sharpen them, sharpen them, sharpen them. So it makes it less maintenance for you. Absolutely. As the carbide wears, it sharpens itself every time it wears. It sharpens itself, and there's only four teeth, and you can spin them around and use the other. What happens? You said one. Something like that. As we were looking for battery technology, for especially like landscapers like Boneyard is, right? We were looking at it a little bit different way. We're looking at it from how do we get you life cycles out of it? How do we answer your your investment in batteries up front? And how do you charge those batteries so you don't have to invest for 30 batteries up front and charge them overnight? All right? 
then the product was part of that to look at how that product is developed. So the cyber system is our battery platform. You have 11 amp hour cyber pack, a 4 amp hour cyber pack. The benefit of it is 10 times longer life cycles, two times more power, and zero downtime. All right, so what does that mean? 10 times longer life cycles, it's 3,000 life cycles versus a normal lithium ion to only 350, okay? That's a Samsung statement, not ours. Zero downtime means once it comes off the charger, you, I'm sorry, once it comes off your equipment, it doesn't need to cool down. A standard lithium ion battery, it's normally between seven to 15 minutes, it's hot, so it's gotta cool down before it starts to charge. With the cyber pack, the technology, it doesn't have to cool down, all right? Two times more power means the battery pack itself, the way that it's designed, we can get more power out of our battery pack than a standard lithium ion because the chemistry that we're using. The biggest thing that everybody's trying to do is to find a battery technology that gets low resistance. The lower resistance you have, the more you can do with your battery. So the chemistry that we've been developing, it's been in development for 10 years. It's been in research for 10 years. It finally just came to fruition about four years ago to where we could commercialize it to give you all the benefits that we just talked about, all right? Here's the biggest thing. So one of the big things that, that Boneyard's always gonna want is longer runtime. Everybody's chasing longer runtime. If, if I have a battery pack that has lower resistance that I can charge that battery in eight minutes, then your runtime doesn't really matter because you're gonna charge it faster than you can use it. That's what that demo was, right? So the 11 amp hour on the cyber tank, which is the five kilowatt charger, it'll charge that without boost mode in 13 minutes, with boost mode in eight minutes. The four amp hour, zero to 100% in eight minutes. Exactly, right? So now, charging it, you don't have, now knowing that, you don't have to invest in 40, 30 batteries, 40 batteries, whatever you need to, to upfront to get through a day. You can invest in the right number of batteries and use the cyber tank on your trailer to charge. Because that's a DC to DC charger. Now, at the end of the day, when there, you need to charge it back up, you plug it in, charge the battery, which takes about three or four hours, because it's a big battery. But then it's ready to go for the next day to get through everything you're doing for that day. Right? So it's really about the cyber system. And then the product that we have, the commercial 60 volt product, wasn't built to be cordless. It's built to be gas product powered by the cyber packs. That, that's the biggest thing, right? So we didn't go out and benchmark against a cordless string trimmer. We benchmarked against a gas string trimmer from a testing standpoint, an ergonomic standpoint, and function. That's how we built it. Um, so hopefully, many of you got to see the show last year, and we had some of our batteries on display, and it's a much larger spread this year. So uh, we're very proud of all the work that's been happening over the past year with our engineering teams. Um, trying to, again, bring battery equipment to the market faster with all of our OEM partners. So we know that there's a wide variety of needs from all these OEMs, and really our goal is to make it as easy as possible for any of them to get in the market, to really reach what, what the market needs to, to get greener economies, to get greener job sites, um, all of all the requirements that, that keep coming. Uh, they say, what are they doing? Nice. Is 
this is what you got got this it's out there. Put your leaves in. Well yeah, but yeah. And you can blow the leaves into it. It's porous, so it's not gonna flip up like like a tarp. And then they'll just I've mulched Thank you. Got a leaf breeder the guys didn't want to blow barrel up at all. Uh-huh. So we loaded these things up and had them grab inside and just walk up the steps. Yep. So much cheaper than that. So yeah. How much was so nice? It's nice. So this is right there. The big one's yeah. 95. Yeah. No, it's it nice. 79. And so now you can like stain it up, dump the leads yeah. in, push it down, put them in. It makes it easy when you just fold everything up, zip it, drag it across the yard. Exactly. You, back what you, do. you can drag it, you can dump it. It's got handles so you can pick it up. Yep. Yeah. Start smoking.